Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Lopinto and I am here today with Spinning Grillers. And today we are going to demonstrate how to stack chicken shawarma. But first I want to talk about a very important aspect before we get started and these are your tools. So what's great about Spinning Grillers is that they have everything to make your events successful and that's very important so what we have here is the the main roasting rod we have platforms we have two different sizes depending on how big you want your chicken shawarma to be they have small roasters the larger roasters so what we have are two different sizes and they're so well equipped that they actually have the catch pans for you so when your meat is cooking and when it's done you can slice and use the catcher for it we have three different knives we have a 19 inch for the larger medium 14 and then a smaller 10 inch but what i found very interesting and i thought this is really great is actually an electric slicer so as your meat is cooking and it's spinning you can use the electric slicer to slice the meat off as it's cooked and then catch it and you can serve your guests. So we have several things to get started. We have our roasting spit, our stand, a tub, empty, ready to go, and we have our marinated chicken. So what's important is to have a tub or a sheet pan that the stand can fit in properly so that you can catch your marinade. So what you want to do first is we have a mixture of beautiful chicken thighs and chicken breasts, both. So here's the thigh and here's the breast. Now, there are different styles of chicken shawarma, or I should say shawarma in general, where you can start with a larger top and then coming down to a narrow bottom. And we're gonna trim it to where this shawarma will be an even cylinder of meat. So let's start. Let's get our meat nice and mixed. It smells delicious. This is a mixture. It's a custom blend of different spices. Here we go. So let's start from the top into the middle and then down. Now, the first one I did centered. Now, sometimes what happens is that the meat really is not as perfect and centered as a breast would be. So what you have to do is create as even as possible a cylinder that will spin and rotate evenly. So press down in the middle and look for a mixture of thighs and a mixture of some chicken breasts. So see how we're going to the side? Now, not every single piece has to go onto the skewer. So to keep it even, you can put some onto the outside perimeter of your base. But what's important to remember is that you need another piece to go onto the skewer and that will help hold it. Now, the nice part about this is that your imagination can go wild. If you wanted to, you could put different layers of vegetables, red bell peppers, green peppers, onions. You can even have chopped spices along with the meat in between each layer. And as it roasts, you'll have different flavors for it. And I think that's so important is to have a variety of flavor. So here we go. So now if you notice, I'm taking a piece of meat and I'm going towards the end so that we can start building up the outside. Compress the middle 
so that you're getting an even layer because what we want to do is have an even cylinder of meat. So let's build up the outside here. And don't forget, keep that middle nice and solid and packed. There we go, that's a good piece. Let's come on the outside over here. Let's find another good one. Yeah, here we go. Once again, looking to get the thinner pieces to the middle so that the fatter pieces can start building up towards the center. So you'll have an even layer. Let's go with the thinner over here. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. So as you can see, we're getting a really nice construction of chicken. There we go. What we're doing is we're building our, 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 our shawarma, our skewer of beautifully marinated meat. So as you skewer your meat, you also want to build it to where you have a piece in front, a piece behind, a piece on the left, and a piece on the right. So to demonstrate, what we will do is we will take our meat and let's put a piece here, put a piece up front, piece on the side, and then a piece on the left, push down, and then skewer a piece to hold it all together. So we're almost done. Okay. Press the meat, wrap it around. And then you want to top it. And as it cooks, it'll hold it all in place and together. So we have a couple of pieces left but first, what we're going to do before we put these other pieces on, we are going to trim this a little bit. Trimmings, gather them up and place them around the skewer in as even fashion as possible, okay? Mold it around, then press down the middle so that we can have an even roasting cylinder. Now, take some more meat and this is going to be your anchor. So as you can see, we're taking the meat, we're skewering it, and we're layering it over the chopped meat itself. Those were all those delicious trimmings that we are taking care of. 